It's a mystery trolley. Happy Haunt Friday night. We're in Altamont Springs. We're at our favorite local annual haunt experience, Petrified Forest. We're here. We are red, so we gotta wait for all of these colors to go through. And then we'll get up to red, and we'll start our houses. We'll go through our midway area. We got funnel cakes. We've got two houses here tonight. One is the swamp, and one is the hunted. We got chainsaw over here. Just scared somebody to the ground. You get on the back of a motorcycle, rev it up a bit, and get the tire to go, and make you feel like you're driving. Seminole Harley Davidson. They take your picture while you're in the house, so you can get a souvenir. Got a food truck over here. We got a DJ over here. This is what the facade of the hunted looks like. It's cool. We got like a satellite dish spinning around. I'm interested to go in them. We we'll run into our favorite monster. This breath smells so bad. So bad. Come see Tiny. Who, ironically, is not very tiny. This is Uncle Jed, by the way, with Jess. It's Jed. It's Tiny's uncle. <laughs> so Uncle Jed was explaining to me that this year, The Hunted is an interactive experience. Similar to Screamageddon, some of these other houses where you kind of get touchy-feely, but maybe less punchy. Uh, they will touch you in that experience if you opt in. And then you have 25 seconds to find a medic before you die. And by the way, once again, we are not going to film in the houses, but we will give you our review of how everything is. We've run into mom and papa now. Hi, y'all. Can you come visit our family now? Oh, yeah. She promised not to kill you. <laughs> she promises that. I promise nothing. Actually, I'm lying. It's okay. I got a lot of babies to feed. This is their fine daughter. I like your doll. Sometimes she's mad. Oh. Oh. Everybody else, let's continue to walk around. I hope the doll is good today. It's very dark, but they're patrolling up top. The family is in action here. The Petrified Forest this year has different show directors. And basically, the houses that they have, two different trails, they do go off into the forest, follow the family, which is a cast of characters from past time in this house to the other trail, which is 30 years later. One hour later. So we just wrapped up with both trails, said hello to the family, experienced everything, went on the backstage tour. We gotta come out here and see the hearse. This is an annual thing. You gotta stop and say hello to the car. I feel like this is part of the landmark attraction here. We're gonna walk back to the car. In case you are looking to come to Petrify Forest, they're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Brand new trails this year. So we're back from Petrify Forest. Uh, there are two trails at Petrify Forest that we were talking about before. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a description straight off of the website. So if it looks like I'm reading, I'm reading. Um, there's the swamp or the family swamp as well as the hunted and the family swamp is what we went through first the description is uh, the family swamp has been contaminated for as long as anyone can remember as the drool of society has drowned out what was normal and each generation passed these oddities have evolved you find your way through their land watch your step and you're back mm. and the second trail the hunted uh, we went through was an interactive trail the hunted interactive trail will bring you through the aftermath of the 2031 contamination even though the public has been assured repeatedly that the contamination is no longer a threat, we still will provide each visitor with a government-approved beacon to maintain your health status. <laughs> and that's what we had used. Mm -hmm. So we could talk about the swamp first. Actually, I guess out of the two first, uh, what was your favorite? I like the, um, the second one. The hunted. The hunted. The first one. The swamp? Oh, so I have to be a tiebreaker here? Um, for me, I think I like the hunted the best. Mm -hmm. I like the elements of both. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, give, let me just give a reminder again that a petrified forest is not a, a Halloween Horror Nights. It's not Hollow Scream. It's um, it is what has evolved from a family-owned haunt um, into you know the, that was done on like property, their home, and has evolved over the years in uh, a 
forest, basically. It's mm -hmm. a swampy forest. Uh, we've gone there for many years. We've enjoyed it many years. Um, it is not slick. It's, um, mm -mm. it's on a trail in the dark. And they do do. Um, they do they do. do, do. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of nights of uh, pure like lights out towards the end of the run, and you can check that out on the calendar on the website. Yeah, you use glow um, sticks. Just to walk glow through. sticks if you want to walk through. If if you get caught by folks because it's a touchy feely um, environment, they take your glow stick away from you, and you have nothing. Yeah. And it's tough to navigate the trail as it is. Yeah. Um, even in you know the regular condition. I was trying to walk through at one point. I was like, where am I going? <laughs> the swamp was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, there were some really cool characters. It's kind of laced with um, gator type atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We're in a swamp. Yeah. And there's uh, some interesting like wooden walkways to go over. Oh my goodness. They um, had one on hydraulics. Yeah. That was in the second house. That was in the second, yeah. Um, they they had a, they had like a giant gator mm -hmm. at one point too. That was pretty awesome. Um, and there's different characters. So the characters that we introduce you to at the beginning of the video are also in the haunt, mm -hmm. uh, meeting you in, within the the two houses. So they you know some are in one and some are in the the, the other. Mm -hmm. um, the cornfield is back for folks that have gone to Petrified Forest before. Mm -hmm. um, I think the cornfield last year might have been destroyed from the hurricane. Hurricane, and they salvaged some of it. Yeah. Because it was coming out of the car and different parts over there. So, the cornfield's back. Um, in the other, I think it's in the other section, they have the school bus is back. Mm -hmm. this we had year. to walk through the school bus. So, you go through the school bus again. Um, and the treehouse is, is back. Um, well, it's always there. Yeah. But I really like the, the swamp. It was a great atmosphere it did feel kind of quick because i was enjoying it so much mm -hmm. um, i think the one critique that we have every year is that you'd love to be able to see some more of the stuff with lights on uh, for some of the other characters that were not the main characters mm -hmm. but a really enjoyable time to going through that maze and then uh, we went through the hunted which was interactive yes and um the swamp starts off with you know, every year they do kind of a thing like where they pulse you in, in a group of like, let's say between three to six people in a group at a time mm -hmm. for most times. And um, they either like push you in like a train car or something like that. And this year for the swamp, they, they pushed you in like a boat. Boat, yeah. To get in the thing. And then for the hunted, um, you have the interactive band, but we didn't really have a lot of instructions no, around it. No, not at all. Um, and it was very similar, that, that same device that they used, it was a device that that um, had like proximity sensor on it, so that it starts out flashing like a, like a blue or a green mm -hmm. type thing, and then if you're near somebody, you get affected, it's yellow until you, you kind of die if it turns red. Um, but some other people, if the healers can heal you if it the med medics medics um we i did something like that last year with uh joey from the four huntsmen we went to um old town mm -hmm. um, where you got infected and had to keep running around to try to find different things no there was like one medic through the whole trail like i didn't yeah. know where any of them i were. didn't know well i died pretty instantly mm -hmm. in the, Me the too. trail like i died within seconds you really couldn't avoid other people infecting you but mm -hmm. then I, I just pretty much stayed dead. I got I got healed once. That's yeah. it. I was totally L7. <laughs> so, um, but the maze starts um, with like, I, I to be honest, like I don't know what was happening because all of a sudden they said like, "Yeah, you got to get out of here." And it was like the first time in my life I looked up, and these guys were running. Yeah, because they, they were yelling at us to go, go, go. And we're like, okay. The, like the actors yelled and like, you know, we didn't get you. And the next thing you know, I was by myself. And then I was Left dead. in the dust. Yeah. I was like, what the hell is happening? It was, it was very dark. Yeah. But, and there, there's, the path was very uncertain. So like, you know, by the time you catch up, I was like, I'm not really sure. Like, am I, you know, where am I going in these bushes? <laughs> I have very poor eyesight in like the dark. We're pointing at the cats off camera. Um, it's uh, It was a lot of fun. I really liked the second trail. I liked the, some of the interactivity, I think, was a little bit better on the second trail, too. So we encountered Mama. Oh, yeah. Um, on the second trail, she was great. 
Um, and then there were some uh, actors that were like on top of, uh, of either a boss or area where they had people mm -hmm. in cages and they were caught. So they, while you, like, you know, you, you pass these people that are in a box, I'm like <laughs> speechless. But they had another section with like, um, kind of like uh, truck boxes, you know, like pods almost. Mm -hmm. Where you would, you know, shipping containers, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Like, with somebody that was scaling the, the shipping oh container and like flying at flying you. Flying back and forth. That was kind of new. You that was. Just giving like everything away. Well, that's not really you. No, you turn a corner and all of a sudden this person is flying sideways up on a, um, like a container at you and you're like, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> so there were some really cool, innovative things this year that I don't think we've seen in prior years there but they had someone on bungee yeah it was I enjoyed it a lot there was a stilt uh person too uh, you know mm -hmm. and you can't they the of, of course they brought back this year the laser fog mm -hmm. the green laser fog I love that so so favorite parts your favorite part the alligator mm. the alligator was really cool and you my favorite part usually is surrounding the bus Either you walk through it, around it, or whatever. The bus is cool. They had some, like, really, I mean, when you think about, like, all the stuff that gets elaborate sometimes in some of the these, like, Halloween Horror Nights-y type places, they had really simple things this time that were really effective, and we actually got to do them when we did the backstage um, part of our <laughs> experience tonight. Like, a hand on a stick. Oh, yeah. You know, and they had, like, other, like, animal things, I think, on sticks. Like, you know, as people go through and they touch your, like, legs or something else, and... Oh, I just looked at my leg. It's it's like dirty, pitch black. It's like I went to walk into Rockville. <laughs> By the way, bring bug spray. Mm -hmm. um, but it uh, like things like that. That was a lot of fun because you're in the dark and you're like, what is that? Yeah, you, know? you don't know what's touching you, and you're yeah. like, oh. <laughs> so really great ways of distraction, multi-angle scares and things. So another year of going to Petrified Forest. Another fun year. Oh yeah, we'll be back again. If you guys are looking to check out, you know, local haunts, support your local haunts, mm -hmm. um, Petrified Forest, I think, is open through um, the, the at first least weekend in November. November. First weekend yeah. in November. So, um, you know, right after Halloween. So you guys can check it out. And we'll be back next year. So, <laughs> on that note, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for coming along with us. Thank you very much for all of your likes, and your comments, and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm going to just pause this for a long time to see how long Jess can smile. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>